If you've always wanted to learn how to paint abstractly, this is a project you're going to love. Bold, expressive brushwork mixed with collage. I'm working on good watercolor paper in a large size. This is probably 22 by 30 inches. And I'm starting with golden high flow acrylic, carbon black, and a big brush. Be bold here. This big sheet of paper is going to get cut down into sections. And if you don't have big paper, I did show how I worked on a smaller piece of paper, but you want your brush strokes to go off the edge. So don't hold back. Be bold. Here I softened the edges of the brush strokes just in certain areas with a squirt bottle filled with water. So you want to do this while the paint is still wet, obviously, but it was really fun to just do it in little sections. And then this big piece of paper is going to get cut down so you get some really interesting compositions to work with. Here's the one I made on the small paper and you can see I made the brush marks go off the edges. After the paintings dry, I cut them into quarters. You can see at one point I messed up because I didn't measure right, but don't overthink this. You're not trying to worry about what the composition looks like. Just cut them into even pieces. I make my own collage papers. This paper is drawing paper, so it's easy to cut. It's an 80 pound drawing paper. It will dry flat after I um, make these papers. So I really wanted some golds and bronze. I started with some old paint, but what worked the best for a really beautiful gold was golden high flow acrylic iridescent gold. But if you want to make it bronze, you can add black. I also used black in a squirt bottle. And then I layered um, this iridescent gold over it and got a variety of papers. Now I'm going to show you the collage process I used for these specific pieces. I'm using tracing paper and making a shape that I think will add to the composition that's already there. Of course, I don't always work this way. Sometimes I just cut interesting shapes and move them around. So you'll see these two different techniques. So what I did here was I outlined the shape. Then I flipped my collage paper to the back and I also flipped the drawing. Now I'm going to outline it once more and the graphite from the first drawing will transfer onto the back of the collage paper. Then when I cut it out, it will flip and be going the right direction. So I'm gonna show you this a few times um, in case that was confusing. I like to work on more than one at a time and I don't use everything that I cut. So the, what you're watching here was me playing around and I don't, don't end up using any of that. So collage is a great way to be experimental and just sort of try different things, you know, to see what's going to work. 
and I just find it really fun. Here you can see I'm being very specific, adding to something that I liked. So you get to, you know, find something that's working and then maybe repeat it where when you're painting and you get far into a painting, there's no way to back out. With collage, you don't glue anything down until you like it. I use little pieces of painter's tape rolled to tack everything down. Even if I have a small piece, I'll tack it down. You know, then you can walk away from it, come back to it, move these pieces around, and you'll also see it's very helpful in the gluing down process. I'm using this Nori paste and a brush. Um, uh, this paste is really, really cool. It's actually repositionable before it totally dries. Um, and I really love using a brush with it. It's a little thick, um, but it works nicely. So I make sure it's positioned exactly the way I want it. And I tape it down with a little rolled up tape. And then I lift one edge and I glue that down, and then I lift the other edge and glue it down. If it's a small piece, obviously you don't need to do this, um, but this helps me keep everything where I want it to be. Another way to work in collage actually is to take a picture on your phone of where you want your pieces to be glued down, and then you have that as reference. And I like to use wax paper to press everything down because your fingers get a little sticky and you might be smearing glue in places where you don't want to smear glue. So wax paper works great. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about this technique. 
of how to make abstract artwork without the fear. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And if you try the technique, let me know in the comments. Subscribe to my channel to see lots more videos about painting and about how to make your own acrylic painted papers to use in collage. Thanks so much. Have a great day.